Let's look at how to solve a dotted circuit using fminsearch in MATLAB. fminsearch is a very useful function that lets you minimize a function. You can set it up so you can solve n equations and unknowns, even if those equations are nonlinear. I'm going to start with this circuit. This is a circuit with two voltage nodes and two diodes. The diodes are nonlinear devices with the following exponential relationship. What I want to do is find out what voltage produces the equilibrium. At what voltage does the current from the node add to zero? To do that, I will first guess V1, V2. Once I know the voltage is, I know the current through the first diode in this equation. I know the current through the second diode in this equation. I can then do voltage node analysis to say the currents have to add to zero. So at V1, I get this equation. Current through the 100 ohm resistor, current through the diode, 200 ohm, 300 ohm, have to add to zero. And second equation current through this diode, which is minus ID1, plus ID2, plus current through the 200 ohm resistor, has to add to zero. Uh, the challenge here is that there is a solution. If you build the circuit, you will get a voltage there. What voltage results in equilibrium results in the current out equal current in. Now to do that, I'll have to create a function where I guess V1, V2, and it tells me how close I am to the correct answer, how close the currents add to zero. Uh, the way I like using MATLAB is first, don't use the function, just use the editor, guess v1, v2, try to see if the currents add up, and then once you get those equations right, throw it into a file. So first I'm going to guess v1, v2. So in that line, let's say v1 is 1.4 volts, to guess v2 is 0.7 volts. Once I know v1, v2, I know the current through the diode, IV1, 10 to the minus 7, times the exponent minus 1. I got that right. Arrow up, arrow down are a quick way to get the previous command. Arrow up brings up the previous command. I can then edit that to get ID2. It is just that. And now the first equation should equal zero. Instead of making it zero, I'm just going to do E1. So it should be E1 minus 10 over 100 plus ID1 plus B, E1 minus B, ah, E2 over 200 plus B1 over 300. That should add to zero. It's close, but we'll get off. The second equation should also add to zero. That's minus ID1 plus ID2 plus B1 minus B2 over 200. If I do it right, those will be zero. These are close to zero, but they're a little bit off. I've got those equations working, so let's copy those into a function in MATLAB. So under MATLAB, I'll do file, new, function. This is a cost function. I'm going to pass to it a guess. We'll call it diode. And pass to it an array x. What x means is v1 is the first entry in x. x will have two guesses and two voltage nodes. I'm going to parse it so that first is v1, second is v2. Once I know that, I get the previous command I typed, id1, throw in a semicolon, because I don't really want to know the result. I'll have id2, and I know that. Once I know those, find the error in the first voltage node, find the error in the second voltage node. Now what I want, fn search will minimize the function. Come up with the function so that the minimum is when the answer is correct. So j will be the sum squared error. E1 squared plus E2 squared. There's the sum squared error. If J is 0, or the minimum, the error has to be 0. Let's save that. Now in MATLAB, I know the function called diode. Here it is. If I take the guesses of 1.4 volts, 0.7 volts, 
He says, this is how good my function is. I want to make that almost zero. That's where fmin search comes in. I'll say the result ab is fmin search. Minimize this function with the following initial guess. And it iterates, and it says, this is the best you can do. 1.408 volts and 0.702 volts. The second number says how close the answer is to zero. So apparently the voltage is 1.4 volts, 0.7028 volts. A uh, good way to check your answer is try a different initial guess. If different guesses wind up at the same answer, that's probably the correct answer. Uh, that's kind of an example of how to use Fmin search. It's very useful anytime I can set up n equations and unknowns. Instead of making the equations equal to zero, make them equal to one error, and make the cost the sum squared error. It'll do the best it can to find what guesses will make the error equal to zero, or what guess will solve those two equations. So it looks like on this circuit, the resulting voltages are 1.4082 and 0.7029 volts. And of course, the three diodes I can find, given V1, V2, by typing V1, arrow up, now that pulls up all the previous commands I had for V1. Get that ID1. So there's the current, 92, arrow up. That's the current through the second diode. 